Good morning, friends. I was not sure that I would actually sit down and film this video. I wasn't sure how interested you guys would be. I personally love this kind of video because it gives me so many ideas for what I could possibly buy. And if you're in that last minute pinch, I hope this is helpful. A number of you have been requesting this video, so I hope it helps. But I'm gonna be sharing with you today everything that I got my four kids for Christmas this year, including stocking stuffers and the whole gamut of things. I found that more stuff is not always better for kids and so I just try to be really mindful in getting them intentional gifts, things that I know that they'll love and I also love if it can teach them like a life skill or in some way be educational that at least part of it is something that will benefit them for the rest of their lives. So we're just gonna go through all of that. This might not be completely all-inclusive. I tend to, if I'm thrift shopping before Christmas and see something that I know one of them would really love to add, but if I do any of that, that's kind of just extra. It's not, this is kind of the cream of the crop, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna start with my oldest. She is 10 years old right now, and if you're new here, my kids are ages 10, seven, five, and two. <laughs> You have to think twice once you have multiple kids. But uh, I'm just gonna start from oldest to youngest and then at the end I'll show you their stocking stuffers, which, spoiler alert, is not little clutter toys. <laughs> I personally cannot stand those. But I hope this video is helpful to you. If you're comfortable, let me know in the comments below something that you're excited to give your kids for Christmas this year. And I'm gonna get right into it with my 10-year-old daughter, Kyra. So first up, we got her this little sewing kit. She loves working with her hands. She actually has a little sewing machine. And I thought this would go well this year with it. This is a Singer sewing machine. I will try to link whatever I can down below. It has the little pin cushion here. We have some a little pocket here that you could probably put a scissors in as well. And then it has a little tray as well as just a bag of some different little goodies here. We have a little pin cushion, there's a scissors, there's a seam ripper, a couple of threads, just some basic little tools to go with that. But what I was thinking was she could put this in there. So this is a little embroidery set. I think she's gonna love this. I am so excited to see her. I can totally see her sitting by the fire some evening and knitting while I read to her. But it has a couple of packets and I'm not gonna open these because I think they're sealed and might be hard to, oh, no, never mind. I can open them and re-stick them. I wasn't sure if it was sealed shut, but I love that these come with, you already have the threads in here that you need for this specific picture. Oh, that's handy. I actually didn't open a lot of these before. So it has all the threads here and then it has them numbered and then it already has the picture stamped on. We have a couple needles. I think she will love this and probably get right to work <laughs> on embroidery. So I love that. I love that it's another little life skill that it can teach her. This does also come with an embroidery hoop and then it has a tiny little scissor that it comes with as well. So that's kind of the package deal with this one. Next up, I actually, for all three of the oldest kids, got them a Lego set at, I picked this up at a local auction actually. It's brand new but much discounted price. She is my horse lover, so she is going to absolutely love putting this together. It's something they can all work on and kind of like, I know a lot of people love puzzles. I think they're gonna spend days after Christmas putting these together and since they each have their own set, I think it'll be really fun for them. She mentioned not long ago that that she would like a cookbook, her own cookbook, which I thought was so sweet, of course, myself loving to cook. And so I got her this, The Complete Cookbook for Young Chefs. It's by America's Test Kitchen. And what drew me to this one in particular was all of the information that it has in here. So obviously we have recipes, but also, let me see if I can find a page real quick. Okay, so for example, here's a page on herbs and it just goes through some different, pretty common herbs and what they taste like, what they would be used for, 
There are cutting techniques for cutting different things and just a very like educational type cookbook for young kids with pretty simple recipes. So I think she's going to absolutely love this. And to go with it, I actually got both of the older girls a little baking kit. I cannot get over how adorable these are. They come in this little wooden box. She's a little big for some of these. Um, she could totally use a regular sized. I think this is like a chopper thing. They have some oven mitts that are so cute. And then it comes with a little, looks like a linen apron as well. And then their own cutting board. And then, wow, that's loud. Some different cooking utensils in here. We have a little rolling pin all of this by the way is actually food grade so it can be used in real cooking and then these i thought were so cute little whisk we have a tongs spatula all these different little items that i think she's gonna have so much fun with in the kitchen for my seven-year-old son we picked up this first of all my husband is a hunter and loves to go out in the woods. We have some woods on our property. They love to go out there. And so this is, and I cannot open this one because I could not restick it, but it's, it's a bow and arrow set that I think he's gonna have so much fun target practicing with daddy. It comes with this little pouch to store all his arrows in. I got him this tiny little wooden one a couple of years ago that just had the little felt pellets on the end, so like the accuracy was not great. Um, it also comes with, I have no idea what this thing is called, but that you put on to shoot the arrows. Um, so this will just be a step up of that for him. And he's definitely getting into more of a man, I would say. <laughs> At seven years old, that sounds strange. But with his interests, things he likes, I've really found that with my older daughter as well. They're not into, you know, the dolls and the little, you know, t toy things. They want grown-up stuff and things that makes them feel big. So I think he's really gonna love this and especially it being hunting season and he can get all practiced up for next year as well. And then of course we also got him a Lego set like the girls. Pick this up at the auction center. I highly recommend checking used places first or places where you can get a discount. I know there's lots of discount stores even like Ollie's or Benton Dent type stores where sometimes you can get brand new things for a much cheaper price like I did these. This is the Lego City Dragster. So we have the semi truck and then of course the race car on the back. I think he's gonna have a lot of fun with that. We also got him this. If you are not new here, you know that we live on a farm. He knows more about tractors than I probably ever will. He absolutely loves all things tractors. And so we saw this and knew that this might be his favorite gift we're getting him. <laughs> it's this book of John Deere tractors over the first 100 years. It has all these pictures of how tractors used to be, what they look like later, lots of information. He loves to read, so I can't wait to give him that. And then he just has a little tiny Bible, which is really cute, but we wanted to give him a bit of a bigger one. Since he does not yet have one, I got him this ESV student study Bible. Josh and I both have ESV as well. We really like it. Some of this he might grow into with some of the study notes. There's maps in here, which he's going to love. And then we also got him a, a Bible case to go with that. Right now he's just using one that Josh had <laughs> as a kid, but I think he'll love having his own. It has a spot to put his highlighters and markers and things like that, which he's really into so i think this is one that he will love for years and years to come you can find him sitting on his little bed at night reading his bible often so that's really cute and i think he's going to love the upgrade with that one for my five-year-old lessie i picked up this same type of baking set as for Kyra, um, except it's in a different color. So I got her this in purple. I cannot wait to see all the memories we make in the kitchen in the upcoming months with all of this. I did not get her a cookbook, but she also does not have her own Bible at all. And I saw this one and I could not resist. I know she's going to love it. She is my glitzy girl <laughs> and I found this. It's one of those creative Bibles, but look at the sparkle. 
she will be very pleased. Has the little butterflies on the back. This is also an ESV Bible, and then of course has all the things that she can color in. It has the passage in the middle, lots of spots for where she can write in, which again, she might kind of grow into that, but she loves to help find like the right passage when we're having family devotions and stuff. So I think she's going to really love sitting down and just even having this open. Even if she can't quite sit and read it, she might work on coloring some of it and then she has it for the future and she can take it to church with her and stuff. It does come with this, this little bookmark, which is cute. So I can't wait to see her face when she opens this. I think she will be in love. And then I got her, they love playing dress up. Honestly, I'm not super impressed with the fabric of this one, so I might get her a different one, but the same idea. It's just this little pioneer dress that has this bonnet, and then the little dress, little bell sleeves that comes with, has like this shawl thing to put around the neck, and then also a little tiny apron. So that's gonna be fun, and kind of to go with that, I got this. It's a little house picture book treasury. We have the traditional like book set, whatever that's called, and they love it, but for her age, I think she's especially going to love this one. It has so many more pictures, and I think there's five, six, six of the books or stories in here, so I think this is going to be a big hit for her. She loves to cozy up at night and read a story, so that is to go together. And then for her Lego set, we got her this Heart Lake Food Market one, which I think she'll have so much fun. She might need a little help putting it together yet, but it's something we can all work on together, and especially all the kids having their own like that. For Abby, my two-year-old, <laughs> can you tell she loves boxes and bags? It's very much her thing. I think I might add a little bit to hers. She, at this point, does have a little bit less than the rest, so I'll keep my eyes peeled for things for her. But what I have right now is this cute little pink purse with a zipper. She is very picky that she needs a church purse, and she has one right now, but it's about half the size, and you can hardly fit a pencil in it. So I thought it would be fun to give her a new one. I think she's gonna be carrying this around everywhere with her. She has also been big into doctor everything. So my mother-in-law is actually a nurse as well as my sister-in-law. Another sister-in-law currently in nursing school. So they see a lot of like medical related stuff, so to speak. I saw this, this is actually from New Flora as well. They came out with a home collection with it in the last two months maybe, and I saw this on there and I just had to get it. With Living on the Farm, we have the vet coming to the farm and this is just a little vet kit. It has this little puppy dog and then it has the cone for when you doctor him. It has a stethoscope, we have some like vet wrap, and then there's a little syringe and a little thermometer so and i guess this tray could probably also be used as a feeding dish for the puppy but i think she's gonna have so much fun with it she will often come up and beg to play doctor so this will be right up her alley but along with that another little case this one is just off of amazon but it's the cutest little tea set she is often found <laughs> trying to steal her sister's tea set. And I like this one because it's actually tin, so it's not going to break like the ceramic ones. How adorable is this little teapot? I think it's so cute. They had some different options as far as what you want. I got the ballerina option. It has this little serving plate. You have all the cups, plates, all of that. And then you could get it with the option of some play food with it as well. Some donuts and pastries and things like that. Whoops, teeny tiny little plate. So I think she will be very excited about this and love playing with that. Okay, let me clear this away and we're gonna move into stocking stuffers. Whoops, I almost forgot. We have a couple things we're giving everyone together for all of us to just kind of enjoy together. 
Uh, first up is this little wooden bowling set. Also, how cute. This one is also from New Flora's home collection. Um, and it just has these little wooden pegs, bowling pegs. And then it comes with the ball. I love that it comes in this little linen storage thing as well because things like this can end up kind of like cluttered, lots of pieces. And so this should definitely help keep it organized. I also got this. This was actually one that they mentioned a while ago. They had played it with some friends. It is just the game of charades. It's in the bag. And I think they are going to love playing this. We love table games at our house, so this will be a fun one to add to that stack. And then I also got this James Harriet treasury for children. So one of our favorite shows as a family has been the James Harriet series. And the kids have all loved this. I'm debating if this will go, well, let me first show you. It has some, has a lot of pictures in it as well. And I think living on the farm here, they can relate to a lot of the things that he goes and is vet for. We have a vet coming here to check on the cows. Sometimes the kids will watch like a cow surgery or something. And so I think this will be a really fun one for them to read again and kind of remember some of the episodes. I'm trying to decide if I want to give this to them as a gift under the tree or we do this advent, book advent thing that I've mentioned in previous years, but basically I just go and normally we'll just thrift a lot of books and wrap them individually. And then we have a little wooden wagon that I'll store them in and every day from December number one till 24. The kids can take turns opening one book a day and we'll sit on the couch or next to the fire, snuggle up and read whatever story that is. And it's just become a really fun tradition that we do every single year. This one is a little thick to be reading through in one evening, but I might just wrap it anyway and we can finish it, you know, over the coming days throughout the day. But I thought this was a fun find. For their stockings, I do not like lots of gadgets and toys that clutter everything. I feel like that's kind of the traditional stocking stuffer. <laughs> and what we've done over the years, first of all, has been putting their Christmas pajamas into the stockings. So they find them there. We'll open stockings Christmas Eve and then they find them. They can wear them that night as we sleep around the Christmas tree. And this year I actually ordered these. These are from Holy Pals. It's my first year ordering from them, but they are 100% cotton and they have the nativity on them actually. I think this is called the Away in a Manger set. So we have the angels, the donkey, Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus, sheep. I think it's cute, a cute way to bring the true meaning of Christmas actually into their stocking stuffers and what they're actually wearing, which is really fun. Last year I got some from Brave Little Ones, they are bamboo pajamas and the kids have loved them. Even still will comment on how comfortable they are, so either of those places are great options for Christmas pajamas. Hopefully they're not sold out everywhere. I know sometimes, especially when you're looking for a range of sizes, it can be a little tricky. One thing I would note on these as well is on their size chart, it says to size up like pretty drastically. I would not do that from my experience. I tried that and they were way too big, I could tell, so I went and got their actual sizes, but that's my opinion. I'm sure they must have had some input the other way or else they wouldn't have that on their size chart. Then we also have slippers. Again, very practical, but a fun little thing for them. I picked these up at Gap when they had a sale, so the older ones. They actually had the same slippers for all three of the older ones. And then for Avi, <laughs> these are a little bit different, but oh my word, how cute. They still have fuzzy little brown bears. So she's going to, I think, love matching with the others. So those are kind of the two things I do every single year, slippers and pajamas. And then from there, I just try to think like what's practical, what's not expensive because it's going in the stocking, but what would they actually use? And so some of that will be treats and goodies, like maybe things that I bake or goldfish. The kids, they hardly ever get to eat goldfish. So sometimes I'll stick some of those. It's more consumable. So things that are a big treat right at first, but then 
don't leave clutter in your house the rest of the year. But this year I had an idea that I also wanted to include these little tiny mugs. I cannot get over how adorable these are. I just picked them up on Amazon. They came in a pack of four. This is what they look like. They are a mini size, which is really fun and I just think they're adorable. We have two little Christmas vintage mugs that I had thrifted a couple years ago and they're always such a highlight for the kids so I can't wait for them to open these and we can sip some hot chocolate together or whatever and I think it'll just be an extra special little touch. One thing is these are ceramic I would say and when I bought them I thought they were tin which I was kind of hoping they were just because they don't break as easy but we're just gonna the kids are getting a little bit older and I think they'll be okay. They'll just be long in the kitchen, not in the toy box. So anyways, that is everything that I got my kids for Christmas. But I hope that this gave you some ideas of things that you might get kids in your life for Christmas. Again, it's nothing super fancy, but memories truly make the best gifts. So highly recommend making a lot of memories this Christmas season with your little ones. Thank you so much for being here and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye friends. Golden, golden thing.